What's up guys? Welcome back to Jim Behind the Scent here at the Shave Shack. Today I'll be using long rifle hunting lodge. First use, I'm familiar with the formulation, but it's first go with this, what it looks like brand new, it's three ounces, 14 American, but there is a code in the description. Anything on her Etsy site, I'm not sure if it works on, or if she even has a website, but I do know it works on the Etsy site. It gets you 15% off your entire order. Just saying. It's in the description if you want to use it. Brush, brush. Today will be the Phoenix Shaving Starcraft 24mm Cenova by Randy Shaves. Thank you, Randy, for this. Uh, a few months ago, I uh, paid shipping. For some of the stuff he was getting rid of and this is one of the items and I just picked it for this shave because I haven't used it in a while so we're gonna go in load this up and then I'll get to the razor which you already know by the thumbnail but I'll tell you anyway I'll tell you again hope everyone's well Having terrible shaves. I'm just playing. <laughs> but you weren't expecting that, huh? Maybe you were. I don't know. Hope you're having great shaves out there. Spending your lives wisely. All of our days are numbered, as we all know. And life's too short for any of the BS. So, that's probably plenty, but we don't care. Here on this channel, we load until we feel like stopping. So, this scent consists of bay rum, leather, and tobacco. It's a very nice rounded out scent. You can't pick one note apart from the other. Uh, before I looked at the notes, I, I thought I had, uh, smelt suede. But once I looked at the notes, and there may be more notes, I'm just reading the ones off the lid, which she provides on her soaps. Which uh, really makes me happy because most, most very little artisans. Okay, that sounded stupid. Most artisans don't provide that. Very few do. Okay. So we look like a rinsed. We're going with the above the tie. Windsor Pro Aluminium Calypso V2 with the aluminum H plate, which is an 8, a 7, 8 on the aggressive scale out of 10. I've used that once or twice, I can't remember. Blade for this razor will be the Spoiler. Yup, we're going down the road with the spoiler. I want to see how many shaves I can get out of this. I'm only going to use this blade on head shaves. That way I can get a little more accurate of an analysis on it. So, um, yeah. We're going to be seeing what I can get out of a spoiler. They're great blades. They're very expensive blades because they're no longer made, of course. Well, 
expensive to me because I mean I think I paid right around 20 bucks for 10 of them and that's absolutely re retarded for <laughs> double-edged blades I can't really remember it wasn't over $20 because I wouldn't have paid that but it was somewhere around 15 to 20 for 10 blades and I found them in my singles little blade compartment thing I have and uh yeah so we're gonna see how it goes today in this razor we got about two days growth one and a half probably way too aggressive of a plate to be using but I felt like an aggressive shave so why not yeah very very easy to lather I love the scent coming off this it's not strong it's not weak it's right in the middle I give it a 6.5 probably a 7 on the face and I'm a smoker a toker no I'm just playing but I am a smoker I do smoke cigarettes and that impairs my scent but not like terribly um, but me getting a six, 6.5 off the head shave on this, it's a very, it's not going to linger unless you have the splash. It, I'm not even sure if she provides splashes, but <clears throat> if she would, I'm sure it would last for hours and hours, but as far as just enjoying the scent off the soap itself for the shave two thumbs up for me I have reviewed one other soap of hers as the Voyager in the tins she does provide the tins for people that prefer them it is a harder puck with a beautiful printed Oh, it smells so good. Printed uh, long rifle in there. And this one is oak moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. And I'm telling you right now, this one is awesome. Just like hunting lodge that I'm using now. <clears throat> Just figured I would let you guys know that she does provide them in the tin. I know some people, most people hate the tins. I don't have a problem with the tin I mean just don't drop it I mean and even if you do the soap's not gonna be ruined if you prefer a firmer soap I definitely get the tin but I mean it's almost triple milled her tin the tin soap that she makes so this right here is is pretty firm it's not like a cream at all it's very firm Pressing pretty hard, like as hard as I could there, and it barely moved. So, her soaps are <clears throat> pretty firm in general. That's how I like my soap, especially when I'm uh, uh, head or face lathering. Which I do most of the time. The only time I don't is when I get bored of it and just want to switch things up. Or uh, get out the door. I feel that for me, uh, doing this type of lather takes longer than just throwing some in a bowl and going at it with a brush and throwing it on and shaving. But I'm trying to showcase this off as best as I can. God, that's a great scent. I don't really pick up on the Bay Rum too much. But I'm sure it's in there. But that tobacco <clears throat> and leather is great. And you may pick up on the Bay Rum. Here we go, first pass, spoiler blade, first use, above the tie, about went to shave my face, 
whoops above the tie calypso v2 aluminum aluminium windsor pro let's go and this is the h plate Really, really recommend this for head shavers. Or coarse haired face shavers. Or just shavers that like an aggressive shave. This blade is just going through like butter. That's why these blades are so expensive because they're so great. They can have a perfect name, the spoiler. If they spoil you, then you run out and you're screwed. <laughs> and this is one of my all time favorite blades, definitely in my top three blades of all time for DEs. There's no overhang on this. You get the SB90 plate with this razor. I just got two extra plates for it. Just in case the SB90 wasn't efficient enough for me, but it was. But the SB90 is like between a 6 and a 7. This is between an 8 and a 9. And I also got the open comb. Um, the open comb. Uh, aluminum. Mild. Which is very good for a 1... One day's growth shave. Because I knew the mild straight bar would be too um, mild for me. And I wanted to see how they did their teeth on their open comb so went ahead and picked up a M2 which 2 means open comb and of course M means mild trying to get all this out of here probably could have introduced a lot more water I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so. Residual slickness is on point. Not the slickest residual slickness. <clears throat> but it's damn sure not the worst. I rated a 7 out of 10 on the residual slickness. She doesn't have a bunch of exotic ingredients in here. So for what she has in here, I find this base very adequate for what it is. And her price isn't ridiculous either. Yeah, you're only getting 3 ounces, but... <laughs> As everyone knows, three ounces last a lifetime. So, and plus, if you use my code, then you're not even going to pay that. So, some water in the brush. I put a little water 
and the divot of the brush there. The canal, whatever you want to call it, the canyon. And then I flick it out back in the sink so I don't get too much. And it runs down my face. But every time you see me doing, putting the brush in the sink, that's what I'm doing. Unless I'm cleaning it. But. I do not have a splash for this, but I am going to be using Mammoth Embrace, the West Coast Shaving Mammoth collaboration a couple of years ago, whenever that shit was, I don't remember. Um, well, we got out the brush. I'm just going to smooth this on the best I can. It's a really nice scent. It's like walking into a, just like walking into a winter lodge. A bunch of people wearing leather. Maybe a guy in the corner smoking a pipe. Uh, and some, a couple people up at the bar drinking some rum and cokes. It's a really nice scent. I dig it. If I didn't like it, you guys would know I'd tell you about it. So, against. You guys haven't seen Terrifier 1. I highly recommend you go watch it. But if you haven't seen Terrifier 2 and you have seen Terrifier 1. Oh man. I've done watched it four times. And I'm probably going to watch it again tonight. It's just such a great film. David Howard Thornton is such a... A good actor for Art the Clown. And Damien Leone is just a brutal, brutal makeup effects artist, director, editor. He does like almost everything for the whole entire, both of the films. Besides like lighting. That's the only thing he don't do. That's blows my mind. They've already made over a hundred million dollars. <throat> and their budget was like 120 thousand? That's crazy. That's retarded. Good. Like, bro. It's not rated. That's why everybody wanted to see it. They knew it was going to be gory. They knew it was going to be like an 80s slasher throwback. They knew Art the Clown was great. David does a great job at bringing art to life. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but... Because I'd be pissed if somebody gave me spoilers without a spoiler alert, but... Just gotta see it, man. It's great. It's really, really nice film. It's over two hours, so brace yourself. And I'm glad it was. I could watch it for three or four hours. A lot of people cried about how long it was, and cried about the gore, and cried about this, and. Why doesn't Art the Clown have a backstory? <laughs> Bunch of crybabies, man. Just watch the films and enjoy them. You may never see one like that ever again. And it's just really strange and just absurd how Halloween, the movies, have came to an end. Halloween ends. You're living under a rock. Halloween ends just ended, obviously, and this clown is making 
uh, Pennywise look like Krusty the Clown that lives with the Flanders. I mean, it <laughs> just blows my mind. And he don't say a fucking word. He says nothing throughout both films. It takes a lot of skill to say not a word and terrify people. The first film was right uh, right above an hour. So they made up for that on the second one. And they, they it also took about four years to bring it out because they were working through COVID when it started. They were they just started filming when COVID hit. So they kept getting pushed back. It was supposed to come out twenty twenty one at the latest. And we didn't get it till this year. If you want to watch it, jump on Screenbox. I highly recommend Screenbox. It's got both of the Terrifier movies on it. And uh, a bunch of other good horror movies if you're a horror junkie. Slasher. This is a mega slasher. <laughs> this isn't just a slasher. The actors were great. And both of them, the kills are just off the charts. You'll never see another kill like those without them being copied. And I'm sure Damien has a lot more to unleash with this character in these movies. Highly recommend it though. But this shave was great now it's over you guys know i like to talk a little bit about something else than shaving welcome to the new subscribers hope you stay hope you like it anybody new welcome um Jump on NC Wetheads Facebook group and uh, send a request and we'll get you in. And you can get in on our Southern Witchcrafts project we got coming up. I haven't even looked at how many people have signed up yet, but it'll happen eventually. I'm not worried about it. But if you do want to pick up these... Uh, if you do want to pick up the anything long rifle, the code's in my description of this video. Like I said, use it over on Etsy. Amanda is a great, great, generous woman. As I said, this video is sponsored by Long Rifle Shaving company soap company and uh thank you amanda for this one as well i hope you get a couple sales i mean she's giving 15 percent off most companies don't even give 10 i don't have a code for above the tie <clears throat> but can't have a code for everything so um Going in with the Embrace by Mammoth, West Coast Shaving Collaboration, Aftershave Lotion, which is such great stuff, such a great set, highly recommend to pick it up on BSTs if they don't have it anymore, I'm not sure if they do or not, but it's like a Suede, leathery, library meets an old library books. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it does go well with this soap. So that's why I'm using it. And plus, it's, it's the 17th of November. So I'm going to be using a lot more balms here. 
during these months, but jump over there on Etsy, check out her soaps. Here, there's two of them. Got them in the tins or the pucks, however you like it. Not many, if any, artisans does that. If you know of any that offers in both containers materials, let me know, because she's the only one I know of. But we will be checking the longevity of the spoiler blade. Also, jump over to Above the Tie. They're having a huge sale. You can get one of these for like probably 30 bucks with shipping. They're $27.50 right now. You won't get this base plate, but you'll get one just as good. Highly recommend it. It's not toy light. It's, you know you have a razor in your hand, but you know it's not stainless. If that makes any sense. But highly recommend it, guys. Jump in the description. Trying to save you guys some money. Alright, guys. I'll see you on the next one when we do my next face shave. Probably tomorrow or something. Alright, guys. Peace.